Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to order fractions, whether that's least to greatest or greatest to least. And as you can see on your screen there, we have two that we're going to do together in order to get this down. On the left, least to greatest, and on the right, greatest to least. So let's jump right into number one here and see how we do this. So for number one, we have four fractions there, five sixths, one half, two thirds, and two sixths. So the first thing we need to do is we need to see, do they all have a common denominator? No. So we're going to need to find a common denominator and rename these fractions. That's way it's, that way it's very easy to order them. So if we take a look at the denominators, we have a 6, 2, 3, and a 6. So we need to think, what's the least common multiple? Where are those four denominators going to hit first as far as their multiples go? And that's going to be our common denominator. And the answer to that is 6. Our common denominator for number 1 is going to be 6. So we need to rename these four fractions with that common denominator. And I'm just going to write everything underneath here. So 5 sixths is already out of 6. It already has a denominator of 6. So we do not need to do anything to that fraction. Now, 1 half, well, I know 2 times 3 will give me the denominator of 6. So I need to do the same thing to the top in order to, re in order to rename that fraction. So 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 2 gives me the denominator of 6, so I need to do the same thing to the top in order to rename that fraction. So 2 times, oh, I'm sorry, I did 3 times 2, so I need to do 2 times 2 would give me 4. And then the last one, is already out of 6. 2 sixths is 2 sixths. You do not need to rename. Now, that makes it much easier to order these fractions because everything has the same denominator. So least to greatest, our least is going to be 2 out of 6, right? 2 sixths. Next, well, we have a 5, 3, and a 4. Obviously, are 3 sixths here, or 1 half. I'm going to put the original fraction in um, my order down here at the bottom. Next would be 4 sixths, or 2 thirds from the original list. And then lastly, the greatest fraction, 5 sixths. And there you have it. Those fractions are now in order from least to greatest. This is the final answer here. So let's go to number two, where we're going to go greatest to least, but it's the same process. Find a common denominator, rename, and then put them in order. So here we have three tenths, four fifths, three fourths, and five tenths. So we need a common denominator for all four of those fractions. So we have a 10, 5, 4, and 10. Any idea what the common denominator is for those fractions? Hopefully you're thinking 20. So let's rename with the denominator of 20. All right, well 3 tenths, we need to see how do we get 10 to equal 20 and then do that to the top as well. Well, I know 10 times 2 is 20, so 3 times 2 is 6. So 3 tenths is equivalent to 6 twentieths. I'm not changing the problem or the value of these fractions when I rename. I'm just finding equivalent fractions with a common denominator. All right, next, I know 5 times 4 is 20, so I need to do the same thing to the top. 4 times 4 is 16. Next, 
I know 4 times 5 will give me that denominator of 20. So I need to do the same thing to the top. 3 times 5 is 15. And lastly, 10 times 2 is 20. 5 times 2 is 10. Now that everything's out of 20, it's much easier to put these in order. So we need the greatest first. So we have 6 twentieths, 16 twentieths, 15, and 10. Well, 16 twentieths is the greatest. And I'm going to put the original fraction first, 4 fifths. Next would be 15 twentieths. And the original fraction is 3 fourths. Then 10 twentieths, which is 5 tenths in the original list. And lastly, 6 twentieths, which is 3 tenths in the original list. And there's our order from greatest to least. So there you have it. There's how you order fractions. Find that common denominator, rename the fractions using that common denominator, and then it's easy to put those fractions in order. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.